Hello, in this video we are going to discuss about WordPress pages. In the last video we discussed about posts. So whenever we visit a particular website or anything, they generally accompany some standard pages, right? which basically are not associated with the date and time as compared to our posts and they have their fixed locations. So whenever someone is visiting your website, they would want to know certain things about your websites or you may want to represent certain things about your websites. So pages are generally considered as static information at fixed location. So as compared to your blog posts, which will keep on uh, changing whenever a new blog post comes up. So the earlier one will be pushed down and so on. So here, if you look at this GNU's website, here they have certain pages like about GNU. So uh, generally there is an about us page. So when you go to that page, you get some information about that particular website organization or whatever is that. Then there is a philosophy page, there is a license page and so on. So there can be certain fixed pages and usually the link to these pages are in your primary menus. Sometimes uh, some of these links could be drop downs and so on. So if we come back to our WordPress website and here we want to create pages, how we can do that. So just like posts, we have this pages section. And here, if we click, you will see the pages that are there. So few sample pages are provided. One is in draft format and another is there. So if you want to create a page, just like we had discussed about adding posts, you can simply create add new or you can use this add new post or page directly from here. And uh, we can add a page. If you want to edit an existing page, you can do it from here. Fine edit, quick edit and so on. Other things are there. So let's make a about us page for this website. So what we are going to simply do is add new. So here is our interface. It's the same interface which we had seen last time for posts. But here certain things are going to be different. So here we are going to add the title. Let's say about us. And as usual, we'll go to our lipsum.com website. And from here, we will just generate some paragraph. So we'll just copy it from here and I will paste it over here. Okay, so it has pasted the content over here. Now, as usual, the other options, things that you can add to the page are shown over here that you can add, you can uh, use quotes and all these discussions, as I said, we'll get into the details later on, or you can explore on your own. Now, the next part here, again, as usual, the if you select a block setting relating to that block will come up, you can manage that. We will go to the page part over here. Again, it's the same thing as post. Visibility is public. You want to keep it private or password protected. Template that is to be used is the page template. The URL which is getting automatically generated, pending review and so on. Here, there is an option of featured image and dependent upon your theme, that image will show in your page. Featured image is usually somewhere in the header or in the middle or somewhere dependent upon how your theme is designed. So this default theme, which is selected over here, shows it in the heading area. So if you want to set a featured image, you could click on set featured image. Here I have uploaded two images. If you want, you could up upload an image by this section, select some file and it will allow you to upload the required image. Fine. Once the image is uploaded, you can use that. So I'll, I'm going to use the ones which are already there. I'll use this image. Now here you have to put some alt text. If you know HTML, alt is important aspect. So people around earth, some alt text is there. Fine. Then some title to the image can be given. So we can use the same title 
this is what will show up when it hovers caption description and other things you can update from here and uh, we will say set featured image now the featured image is set it will not display it over here you will have to go to preview to do that and if you want you can allow comments on the pages but generally this is not ex expected that we uh, put any kind of comments or anything on pages parent page if this page has to go below any other page so if there are existing pages you can set it as a child page of it and order basically this number defines whether it has come in the beginning or below so we will say publish and this page will get published now what the system is going to do is it's going to automatically set this page in the menu link fine so let's go back and over here we will visit our website so here you can see the about us page is shown over here the link automatically comes up dependent upon the theme the pages are automatically linked into the main menu over here later on we will see how we can create menus at different locations so here this is the featured image that is showing up and this is the about us page here you will notice that it does not link to previous or next as compared to the uh, posts which you are reading so this is our page which is there and it is ready okay now if you are logged in you can edit this page directly from here by saying edit page you can make changes to it from the interface which is there and we will try out one thing that is the parent page so let us say we'll just try changing the parent page to the sample page and we will say update and after this we will go back to our website Here you can see now it is coming below sample page. Again, this functionality may differ based on your theme. Right now it is coming over here. Okay. So we'll just set this back as a normal menu entry and not as a individual page. Sorry, under the parent page. So we will just unset this and leave it blank. So I have removed the parent page, we will update this and now we will just go back to our website. You can preview this, okay. it says desktop, let's preview this and it is generating a preview and showing us okay. here, this is completed. Okay. So here, this is how we can create pages and add. Uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that we have limited space over here so you may want to put some pages under other pages just how we had seen we did it with the parent page and that way with few links you can have multiple of them fine so this is how you can add your pages to wordpress